in the meeting, uh, it was a clear uh, feeling of how do we move forward. We Zoomed with Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams following a day in Washington, D.C., meeting with most of New York's congressional delegation. He was not the first choice of many of the representatives, including Richie Torres, who ranked Adams second in the primary behind Andrew Yang. There were no differences of opinion aired at the meeting. You know, Eric, it's clear to me from the meeting that Eric strives to be a unifying figure in a time of division, and we all share the end goal. Of, of ending the epidemic of gun violence in New York City. We pressed Adams about how he would, if elected, work with Democrats in particular who supported Maya Wiley, including powerful Brooklyn Democrat Hakeem Jeffries and Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Adams has expressed concern about a movement toward policies he feels are too extreme, like defunding the police. Let's differentiate between campaigning and governing. Uh, I'm still going to be competitive around those issues that are important to me. Uh, but once we leave November 2nd, it's about how do we govern and we're leaving the campaign aspect of it. This is another venture by Eric Adams to sort of do the dog and pony show with his fellow Democrats who have already anointed him and coronated him mayor of New York City. Don't go to sleep on Curtis Sliwa. There's a general election. Meanwhile, back in New York, Republican opponent Curtis Sliwa ripped Adams for once again visiting Washington, having met with President Biden on gun violence two weeks ago. Both times, Adams technically traveled as a government official. And all on the taxpayer's dime. As Brooklyn Borough President, I've never heard of anything like this. I also did ask Adams about that critique from Sliwa about his travel. Adams stressed he feels it's part of his current and what he hopes to be his future job to go to Washington and lobby for money for Brooklyn and the city as a whole.